Hi, this is Shira for InternetMarketingGuru.com and in this quick video I'm going to show you how to automate posting Google Plus posts from your Google Plus page or your profile to WordPress. Now just a word of caution, you don't want to have all the content on your WordPress site coming from Google Plus because then nothing will be unique about your site and there will be no real reason for people to go to your website. This is more to add content to your site, either to a category or just to fill up additional content during the week if you're not actively posting a lot. So let's see how we can get something that we post on a Google Plus page to automatically uh, show up within WordPress. The first thing that you need to do is you need to go to Daniel Treadwell's uh, site and download the Google Plus blog WordPress plugin. Once you buy the version or download the free one, whichever one you do, you're going to download the plugin to your actual computer and save it. And then step two is going to be to go to your WordPress dashboard and install the plugin. So let's head on over to my dashboard and see what this is like. So I'm in my WordPress dashboard for my site, internetmarketingduro.com, and what I'm going to do is click on Add New Plugin. Then I'm going to click on Upload, since I have this plugin on my computer. I'm going to browse for the plugin on my computer. I have selected the plugin from my computer, and I'm going to select Install Now. Next, you need to activate the plugin and then we're going to set it up with our Google information. Now that I've activated the plugin, I'm getting this red message that says, Google Plus Blog, please correct the following settings via Settings. I need to add in my Google API key, my profile ID, my post history, post status, post categories. So basically what I need to do is configure this plugin. So let's go ahead and do that now. We're going to go to Settings, Google Plus Blog Options. So I'm going in my dashboard to Settings, Google Plus Blog Options. Click on that. First thing we're going to do is we're going to insert our Google Plus API. So you need to be signed in to the Google account that you want to connect to your blog and simply click on this link, Google API Console. And it's going to take you to a page that looks like this by Google now that I'm in my Google API, what I'm going to do is I'm going to register it and I'm going to uh, call it so now I entered in a product ID the, a project ID, this is unique and I'm going to choose this ID when you go to get your Google API what you want to do is you want to go into services and activate the Google Plus API. So I'm going to Google Plus API and I'm going to activate it. I'm going to agree to these terms and accept. Agree again and accept. And now the service is activated. Next I'm going to go and actually see the API access and this is my API key. I'm going to copy it and I'm going to put it in my Google Plus Options settings. The next thing I want to do is enter in the page or the profile on Google Plus where I want to get the post from to my blog. So I'm going to Google Plus. However, I'd like to add in the content from my Internet Marketing Guru page. So I'm going to switch over to my page and it's the profile ID. It's just the 21 digit number. So all I need is this number. Copy that. Paste it in here. And how much do I want to update? Do I want 20 posts? Do I want 5 posts? Do I want 10 posts? You can leave this on the default because I'm going to show you um, how to basically not make this completely automated but to go into your WordPress dashboard and approve each post as it comes in. Now you can say um, that, you certain, that you don't want posts in a certain category. Um, you want to import posts that have already been trashed. Do you want to display a link back to Google Plus? Do you want to show how many reshares there were on a post? 
do you want to import posts only with a certain hashtag? So for example, I may use a certain hashtag and decide that I want to take all my Google Plus posts that have to do with publishing with Kindle and then dump them in a publishing with Kindle category on my WordPress site. So for that I might say the import tag is going to be publishing with Kindle and I could say don't import uh, or I could exclude things with certain hashtags. So let's say I just have something that I post funny stuff and I don't want that on my site, I can just make a hashtag called funny every time I post something funny and then that won't be posted. I'm going to leave this as general right now. You can always change this. And now we can decide how we want the posting to be done to WordPress. Do I want this to automatically publish or do I want it to go into pending? So I always like to put it in pending so I need to manually go in and approve it. Uh, just to make sure that it all looks great and uh, add an image maybe and uh, all kinds of cool stuff to make it look better on my blog. Who's the author? So the author is going to be Duru. And which category do I want these posts to go into? So I'm going to make this Google related. And which tags do I want every post to uh, have in them? So I'm going to call this add some more tags. And then what you want to do is you want to update the options. And when you update the options for the first time, it's actually going to import the posts. Okay? So um, to do that, I need to check this checkbox, Import Posts on Options Update. And I'm going to click on Update Options. Now let's head on over to Google Plus and post something so we can see how it's imported into my WordPress site. So. So I wrote this post. This is an example post showing how I import this Google Plus post into my WordPress blog using Daniel Treadwell's plugin. And you can see that I mentioned Daniel Treadwell. He's the developer. And I'm going to also use uh, a few hashtags so you can see how that shows up. So I'm going to say Juru. Okay, so I put in two hashtags. One is Duru and one is automating Google Plus uh, to WordPress. And I'm going to hit share. Now there's one thing that I didn't do which is very important if you're going to be importing the Google Plus post to WordPress. And that is to actually include a title for the post that will show up as the title. So I'm going to put in a title and I'm going to bold it using the stars. And this is now my title, so I'm going to save that. And let's head on over to my site and see this come in. I'm back in my dashboard in WordPress, and we can see all of the imported posts that the WordPress plugin brought in. And since it was the first import, it brought in uh, the 10 posts that were in my Google Plus page. And you can see them because they're pending, since I asked the status to come in as pending and not as published. So we have this is the example that I created, and these are previous posts that I had already uh, posted on Google Plus that are imported on the first import, all these that say pending. So you can set it to post automatically and publish automatically. However, I like to sometimes add some content, add some images, and just spruce up the post a little bit from Google Plus. Let's edit this post and see what it looks like. As you can see, the title of the post is the bolded sentence that I put at the top of the Google Plus post, and this is the content of my post. Now, there are no images, and so I always like to also add in an image and maybe spruce it up a little bit. You can see here that these are my hashtags. They're automatically imported in, and there's also a link back to this post on Google Plus. You can also see that the post is pending as I asked it to be in the plugin settings. It's been put in the Google related category that I specified also in the plugin settings. And also these tags have been added automatically. Some of these are the hashtags and some of these are the tags that I requested to be added into every one of the posts that are imported from Google+. So all that's left to do now is to publish this baby and see it go live. If you want to have this automated, you can, but I don't recommend it. I suggest playing around with the plugin settings 
and filtering some of the content from your Google Plus page or profile to your WordPress blog. This is Shira for InternetMarketingGuru.com. Take action and have a great day.